Let's have a quick conversation about Square Online Store Setup Okay, in today's tutorial. I want to explain to you step by step how to create a free Square e-commerce store. Don't you go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation, I guarantee it. Welcome back folks to another edition of the awesome Sorty Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka. Now let's roll. In today's conversation, I want to speak to you step by step about Square Online Store Setup. How do you create a free Square e-commerce store? Okay. Step number one, you want to understand what is Square Online. Let's first understand that. So Square Online offers a, a free e-commerce website for retailers, restaurants, service businesses, and nonprofits. Okay, any seller from mobile businesses to multi-store operators can open a Square Online store, list products for sale, process payments, and deliver orders via traditional shipping methods, curbside pickup, and local delivery okay so this is kind of cool and online store analytics also sync with scores back end reporting for accurate data management between online and in-person sales so we kind of love we love the duality here you are talking about online and in-person sale this is really cool and one thing you need to understand is that when we talk about score you need to think about a few pros and a few cons i mean a few cons and multiple pros here are the pros it is free to set up an online, a Square Online store. It is easy to set up and maintain. Built-in payment processing is there. You have native delivery platform, and it syncs very well with Square POS, the point of sale device, okay? Here are the cons. It is not suited for e-commerce only businesses. They have limited customization for website pages, and is not ideal for large businesses. Okay, it's important. So Square Online is a unique product because it offers free online sales tools for small businesses of all types. We are talking about retail, restaurant, cafe, service, and more. Okay, and uh, so you have to th when you think about it, you have to think about Square services. You have to think about the the whole the the the, the fact that you can sync your store with uh, Square POS. This is very important and. If you should use a square or not depends on your needs it depends on your business's size also okay they have an easy flat rate payment processing structure that's what we love okay and they do have a free and low cost pos software in terms of uh, so if you're looking if you're looking for pos software you can uh, choose from square pos square for retail square for restaurants and square appointment they also have a free online website builder. That's what we're going to talk about in today's conversation. One thing that's very important to remember with Square is that they are constantly innovating. So we love that a lot. So even if you're not in the restaurant or cafe or hospitality industry, you can still benefit from their platform. Fantastic. So after understanding what Square is all about, you need to register, okay? You need to create a free Square account. So you you, you go to the to the website and uh, you can actually go to this. So once you register with Square, this gives you access to the Square dashboard, which is where the online store controls reside, okay? And other business tools like order management, marketing and reporting. The process is very simple. It takes about five minutes, okay? The only information required to set up a Square account is your email address and the password. So make sure you choose a secure password because your identity and banking information will be connected to your profile, okay? You can also choose to enter optional information like your business name and or type, and you can do this in your Square dashboard settings. 
So one thing I want to say here, I want to emphasize the fact that it's very simple, very easy, nothing complicated. Okay. And um, anyone can create a free square account with an email address and every free square online store ties into the rest of the square ecosystem and can be managed through your square dashboard. Okay. So people, because people are saying that, Hey, listen, how does square make money? If, if the online store, if the online account process is free, how do they make money? Well, they make money through other services. Okay, and uh, they, they do have paid plans that start around twelve dollars or fifteen dollars. Okay, and they come with features like customer product reviews, abandoned cart recovery, and the ability to accept PayPal uh, PayPal payments. So what I want to say here is that you know the the creation of the online store itself is uh, free, but if you want to add a lot of features and benefits that will actually empower your store more you, you need to pay for something you need to pay okay and uh, so you want to take full advantage of square they have integrated square solutions to help you run your business so we're talking about integration between uh, square online and all square point of sale systems make things like inventory management easy okay you can also subscribe to square marketing and easily send email promotions to your customers using the contact information in square customer directory you can create coupons gift cards or use square loyalty to offer a rewards program for online and in-person purchases okay this is kind of cool and you can take all kinds of payments once you register with uh, with uh, square you can accept you can accept uh, paypal apple pay google pay square pay and cash app pay you can accept all major credit cards okay this is kind of cool so overall this is a great service i want you to see right now on the screen here is scores fees and pricing here's a snapshot of those fees and pricing as of the date of this show the third thing i want you to do after uh, understanding uh, the process and uh, registering you need to configure this is really important because square gives you a template that you need to customize you, i will talk about customization later on but i want you first to think about configuration so you want to configure your initial store settings so once you have set up your free account you can build your online store okay so score guides users uh, through the process with automated prompts so no technical skills are required okay so they have a, a very easy uh, question and answer process okay and they have the interview process and all settings can be changed later on through the square dashboard okay so nothing you choose remember that is permanent so once you are done you'll be taken to your dashboard where you can see the control panel okay this is really good so if this is your first time opening a square online account you will have prompts that outline steps to set up your online business. You can choose to follow this prompt or set up features individually based on the navigation bar on the left of your screen. Okay, this is important. So once you actually familiarize yourself with uh, with uh, your dashboard, with your dashboard, I want you to, to navigate it. Okay, you want to think about apps, the appointment, the homes. Okay, it's pretty it's pretty uh, straightforward. Nothing complicated at all. You can head to appointment in your online score dashboard. To try free for 30 days okay and uh, there are a lot of services that you can try free for 30 days so when we talk about appointment we are speaking about calendar online booking services staff okay you can create staff profiles and set access permissions and hours for employees and you, you can also manage your settings this is what i was just talking to you earlier about that the account is free the online store is free but score makes money by selling you ancillary by important services okay and you also want to pay attention to your account and settings okay if this is where you have your personal information your bank accounts your email notifications the authorized representatives of your store you can also get free processing you want to think about business okay configuring business settings the locations the pricing and subscriptions the balance your receipt tax forms pos devices that you have connected to your store as well as the square secure where you can actually set up your business profile to help square spot unusual activity on your account and better protect your income okay you also have to think about square accessories for example you have uh you also do accessories you have things like a uh, card reader the marketing kit you can order a stand okay think about square loans transfers teams gift cards invoices so my point here is what my point is you need to familiarize yourself with score once you actually have the uh once you once you understand what it is and you register you need to configure every important part of your account especially when they relate to your online 
your e-commerce store. Now let's talk about customization because it is an important element to think about if you want to have a successful Square e-commerce store. So you want to design your Square website. So once inside your dashboard, you have the option to watch video tutorials or dive right into designing your website, okay? And so once you are ready to build your website, click on the Design Now button, okay? It's very simple, it's very uh, straightforward. And you have to uh, think, you have three main sections. Once you have the Square Online Website Builder, you can Edit Panel, you can Preview Panel, and you, can, you have the Toolbar. So in the Edit Panel, you are able to arrange your, your website sections However, you will, it, 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 it really depends on uh, your uh, needs, your preferences, okay? And uh, you can preview the panel, so you can directly make edits to your website's text and review how your website looks, okay? As you select or remove select sections, the store markup will automatically reflect those changes. And uh, so when we talk about the toolbar, you can switch website previews for desktop or mobile, add sections, pages, items, and categories. Okay, so this is really important to think about and you can change your site banner, okay, in the edit panel, okay, and uh, so the bottom line is what? The bottom line is that you have a, a constellation of, uh, of tools that allow you to have flexibility, okay? You also can add sections to your website. You just need to click on the, the, nav the navigation link. So everything, everything happens in the edit panel, okay? You can add stuff, you can remove stuff, it really depends on you. So. To build your online presence, you can connect, for instance, your Instagram account and add an email sign up box. Okay, and you can also connect your um, your Facebook account or your Twitter. I mean, even your your YouTube, your YouTube uh, business page. You can you can actually uh, you can actually connect that too. Okay, so there are a lot of features when it comes to website customization. When it comes to online store customization, customization. You can highlight your brand. You can offer appointment booking. Okay, in other words, you let customers book an appointment with you right from your site by linking to your score appointments booking page. Okay, you can engage your visitors with Instagram or other webs, other social media. You can offer in-store pickup. You can showcase your offerings. Okay, you can build customer relations. This is really good for the long for the long-term uh, sustainability of your business. You can accept online donations. You can get found easily. Now, when I was talking about donations, remember that Square also works with nonprofits. Okay, so this is uh, something you need to think about. Obviously, a nonprofit is not in the, is not in the business of uh, e-commerce, but some nonprofits can also have a store to raise money. So it's totally possible. You can, the, the whole thing is you want to simplify communication with your Square customers, your Square store customers. The next thing you want to do is to list items, okay? So first you want to understand how Square works. Number two, you want to register. Number three, you want to configure your accounts and everything within uh, your dashboard. Number four, you want to customize your website. Number five, you need to list items, okay? You need to add items to sell. This is important. So after you have configured your website design, it's time to add products to your store, okay? You can achieve this doing two things. Either you add products individually. If you don't have a lot of products, that's fine, okay? If you have 10 or maximum 25 products, that's fine. You can do things manually. Or if you have a lot of products, then you can upload products in bulk using an Excel or a CSV file, okay? If you have more than a handful of products, bulk upload will save you a lot of time. So to bulk, to bulk items to your store, you can just follow scores. They have a step-by-step -step guide on their website. This is kind of cool. And if you already use Score POS, their point of service, their point of sale, device your items will automatically transfer over to your store and you can select which products you would like to offer for online sales okay so if you want to uh, if you want to add items individually to your store you need to select the item type okay you need to include item detail uh, details I'm talking about title price and quantity you also will need a product description okay and uh, you also have uh, you can also add uh, optional data including SKU numbers weight and tax information you need to upload product photos really important okay so product photos can make or break the sale when you are talking about an online store whether through square or another another player so it's important to add to add at least one photo for every product you offer 
So if you are a retailer building an online store for the first time, okay, you can take great product photos with your smartphone. You can also contact your product suppliers as many wholesalers, manufacturers, and distributors will offer high quality product photos for free. So think about that, okay? And you also want to configure SEO for products. This is really important. Even if you know little to nothing about e-commerce SEO, we still recommend that you set up this option for your online items because it helps shoppers find your products for search engines. Okay, you wanna simply specify your item's permalink and a shortened product description. Okay, also think about setting up variants. This is optional, but this is really important. If your items have a, a various options such as colors and colors and sizes, you can easily add variations in score. You can also think about setting up product categories. Okay, so when we talk about listing items, you want to categorize items so you can organize your store properly. You can then add the categories as a section on your website. Okay, this is really important. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about how to create a Square e-commerce store, okay? And uh, so now I want to talk to you about how to set up shipping. You need to set up shipping if you're trying to run a profitable store and do it consistently. It's important. So you, you want to ship. You want to set shipping rates. So you need to enter the address you're shipping from, choose your destination regions, and set shipping rates, okay? So shipping from Square will automatically populate this field with your store's address, but you can change it if needed, okay? For example, if you are shipping from a warehouse, you also have the destination regions. So you, you want to add the regions you ship to, such as the United States or the U.S. and territories, and you want to exclude areas you don't. And you want to talk about shipping rates. So to get up and running quickly, set up flat shipping rate. You can always add promotional shipping options or customize rate rates later. Okay, so your flat shipping rate should be competitive. Very important. So set up flat rates that don't eat into your profits, but don't undercharge or overcharge your customers. Okay, because you want to be in the sweetest spot where you are very competitive in terms of pricing. You are not too much high or too much low compared to your uh, to your rivals. Okay, so this is important. And uh, so if you want integrated shipping options and real time shipping calculations at checkout, you want to upgrade to one of the Squares paid plans. Okay, so when we talk, you also need to add pickup and delivery options. This is very important. So after adding your products and setting shipping prices, you can enable curbside or in-store pickup or in-store pickup and order delivery. This is really important. So when we talk about, you need to set up pickup options. Okay, you need to um, you need to configure your pickup settings wisely. Think about when customers can pick up uh, and how shoppers can pick up. Okay, so those are really important. That score makes it a lot easier based on our research for you to set order fulfillment requirements for pickup and delivery. Okay, this is kind of important. And uh, as a business, you can also set specific instructions for customers, such as pickup orders at the register. Okay, score doesn't have an automated feature to adjust delivery settings on uh, or options based on the user's location. So as a user, you need to specify which areas you deliver to. In the instruction fields, this is important. So uh, this is uh, so you know. In addition to shipping and pickup, you can also offer delivery in your area, fulfilled by uh, your courier or Square's third-party on-demand delivery service providers. This is totally possible, not a problem. And the last thing you want to do if you want to have a successful uh, Square e-commerce store you want to think about branding okay you want to seek branding now when we talk about branding, we are speaking about several things okay number one you want to basically think about your the your online stores url this is important okay you need to set up your website address so square will prompt you to set up a domain or url for your website and online store there are three options you can use a square subdomain that will keep your store for free but upgrading to a paid plan makes your website more legit in the eyes of potential customers and grants you access to features like abandoned card recovery emails 
and the advanced shipping options okay so you can purchase a domain through square for twelve dollars per year okay uh, you can connect an existing domain or you can use a free square subdomain this is important so one thing i want to say here is that you never know you you don't want to have a free square subdomain because this option puts you puts your website for that matter on the squares subdomain okay and uh, you also want to think about when we think about branding you also want to think about setting up checkout policies this is important because uh, remember square online is automatic square online is automatically configured to accept online payments through square including credit cards debit cards score gift cards and mobile payment options like apple pay and samsung pay okay but you can also use score to create and send invoices for custom offers okay it's important now scores standard transaction fee for online payments is 2.9 percent plus 30 cents if you upgrade to a paid plan you will get lower processing rates and the option to use paypal payments okay so think about configuring your payment method you want to customize the checkout experience okay so you can choose options to collect additional information from customers to help you enhance their buyer experience including a phone number note to seller or address for item types that are not physical goods okay you want to also think about adding shipping and return policies so that everything is legit and customers can customers know what to do you want to collect tax for online orders depending on the states where the customers is located in okay you so when you talk about talking about branding please preview and publish your website so once you have added all those things you have added all the elements the shipping the, uh, the, the the URL all this kind of stuff you want to preview okay you want to preview and publish your site it's important to understand that you, you also have to think about using square online checkout process once your website is uh, ready to go think about think about that having a square online checkout process okay so you can uh, actually um, do a uh, product launches or pre-orders service payments subscriptions books and digital products uh, you know you have a uh, contactless shopping with qr code checkout this is totally good wonderful thank you so much for your uh, your attention i really appreciate it in today's conversation i was just talking to you about how to create a score e-commerce store so you have to understand you have to register you have to configure you have to customize you have to list items you have to set up shipping and you have to seek branding thank you so much for your attention again uh, god bless you i'll see you next time but until then remember stay marvelous <music>